Hello everyone, Mr. Merkage here, and today I'm making this video to just let you know that uh, the Microsoft Xbox One uh, XDK has been released. Well, in fact, leaked online by this group, or this single man here, but he is in a group uh, called Not Holt. Um, so basically, he's created his Twitter a few days ago, and his, his first tweet was at Xbox, we have something we want to share soon. And it's a screenshot of um, the program. And his next tweet up is actually another screenshot of the actual, what the program looks like. And as you can see here, there's a few, what well, look, looks to me as uh, console commands there, uh, which are reboot console and all that sort of stuff. Um, that looks quite cool. And, you know, he's been tagging like the big forums, Seven Sins, the tech games. Uh, and as you can see, he's uploading the files. So, uh, what he's basically done, he's tweeted at Xbox again, saying, "We thought we'd drop by and in 2014 with a bang." And he's actually posted a link here to the uh, SDK. Uh, I've got it downloaded now, um, so I'm just going to install it. I don't know what to expect other than that picture we just saw there. So. Uh, let's just install this and it's only 1.5 gigabytes so it's actually a lot smaller than the old 360 version and yeah I want to install that to my computer uh, some features I've got 2010 hopefully that doesn't matter too much I'm just going to accept that yes uh, uh, that'll do. Uh, yes. So, well, this seems to install in pretty fast. Uh, so, hopefully, it doesn't take too long. If we go back on his Twitter now, uh, he's got a few other tweets. Documentation here. Um, you know, he's been tweeting a few people about it and as you can see we found a dev operating system should we upload um, so this group here you might as well go and drop them a follow I've just followed them because um, it seems like uh, they're going to be releasing some other stuff in the next few days I believe or possibly will be anyway um, so yeah might as well drop them a follow I won't post a link for the direct download on the the description but I'll post a link to his Twitter page all you've got to do is scroll down and get the link anyway so yeah just for, just I'm not taking any risks so I think this is done uh, installation was successful welcome to it yeah, whatever this looks pretty nice this new in install wizard uh, so that's done is it on my desktop didn't make didn't make something on my desktop maybe is this it? Maintain your... No, no. I'm sure that's not it. Yeah. Where's the... Uh... XE there. Uh, let me just search Xbox. Xbox One. You go back to this photo on his Twitter real quick. And see what it was called. Xbox One Manager. Uh, Xbox One man. Maybe this is it. So I'll open this up. Ah, so here it is. Um, let me remove this from the background. So as you can see, no consoles because I haven't got mine connected. Uh. So let's have a look through. So I, I I like this version much better than the old one. So what is that, is that chat? Oh, feedback. Uh, after adding your console, we'll use the buttons now. Oh, so you can't really do anything on it until you've added a console. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to be using this in the video, but it seems pretty cool anyway that this has been released. This this program basically now is going to allow like 
homebrew developers to develop software to run on the consoles, which is a step in the right direction towards like getting modifications to work on the Xbox One console, uh, which is good because nothing that I know of has been done yet on it. So I, I do want to see something like modified on the Xbox One console. Um, and with the release of this, then it's just going to make it a step closer for that to be possible. Because um, the actual Hulk guy, I've seen he posted on an interview, I think it was on the Tech Game, and he said he wants to spread it because um, the more people that have it, like the more create creativity there's going to be within it, within the community, and get stuff done faster than... Like if he was to keep it to himself, so I guess he's pretty nice for doing that. But I'm sure Microsoft not going to like him. Uh, but either way, the the SDK has been released now. So if you don't download it for whatever use you want it for, I will link you to his Twitter. Um, and like I say, be sure to follow him because he might release some other stuff. As you can see, Chrome X Mods is following him. So yeah, and he. As you can see there. So yeah, drop him a follow. I think he's going to release some other stuff in the next few days. But that's just my opinion. Um, so yeah, it's basically, it's been Mr. Merkage. And I'll see you next time.